सो हेलो लर्नर्स आफ्टर अंडरस्टैंडिंग द मीनिंग ऑफ सर्च इंजन ऑप्टिमाइजेशन नाउ इट्स टाइम टू स्टार्ट विद सर्च इंजन ऑप्टिमाइजेशन टेक्निक्स बोथ ऑन पेज एंड ऑफ पेज एस सी ओ टेक्निक्स बट आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू डायरेक्टली स्टार्ट विद सर्च इंजन ऑप्टिमाइजेशन टेक्निक्स आई हैव इंटेंशनली डिवोटेड वन फुल मॉड्यूल टू द की वर्ड प्लानर्स एज की वर्ड्स आर द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट पार्ट ऑफ any website development process and we have to identify the relevant keywords for our websites as well as for search engine optimization we have discussed the meaning and types of various keywords in this module i will exclusively discuss that what are various keyword planner tools available to identify the various keywords under this module you will specifically learn that what is the meaning of keyword planner tool what type of keyword planner tools are available in the market and how to use various keyword planner tools to identify the different keywords for your website or for search engine optimization so if you are ready then let us begin what are keyword planner tools keyword planner tools help the seo master to find out the relevant keywords for product business website development and for ads most of the keyword planners suggest keyword ideas based on what keywords actually people are searching for in the google search engine to find you your product or your service to use the keyword planner you have to enter a keyword or couple of keywords representing your business or domain of your website and keyword planner tools render you back a list of suggested keywords with some metric to the word or couple of words entered by you in the keyword planning terminology is called seed keyword there are free as well as premium keyword planner tools in the market but in this module i will discuss few free tools with you like Google Keyword Planner, Google Trends, Keyword Shitter, Google Search Console, Suggestion Keyword Finder, Word Tracker Scout, and many more. Let us discuss them one by one. First, we have Google Keyword Planner. A Google Keyword Planner is primarily used for Google Ads. However, this tool can also be used. to identify various keywords for search engine optimization keyword planner is a free tool by the google which shows the average monthly searches for the seed keyword and suggest related keywords which users are actually using in the search engine in a particular location and time with a number of other metrics such as volume of keywords keyword competition and others To use the keyword planner tool, go to Google and search for keyword planner. Go to second result, keyword planner, Google Ads. As I said, keyword planner is a sub part of Google Ads and is primarily used to target the keywords for advertisement purpose. However, we are going to use this tool for getting keyword ideas for the purpose of search engine optimization. Therefore, I will discuss very limited features of this tool which are helpful to the search engine optimization. Go to keyword planner, sign in with your Gmail ID. As our purpose is not to use Google Ads, so just skip this guide. Here enter the basic details like mail id country time zone and currency save and continue this is the google ad interface but in your case there can be few more steps prior to this as you are using the google ads for the first time just skip those phases you have to ultimately reach to this page of google ads to access the keyword planner go to tools and under planning select keyword planner 
Google has recently added few more feature to Keyword Planner to make Keyword Planner better. I will also discuss these features as well. Just go to Keyword Planner. If something is different here in your case, don't worry. It may slightly change from user to user. Here, you have two options. Discover new keywords and get search volume and forecast. As our purpose is to get new keywords ideas, let us select this one. In the pop-up window, there are two options. Either you can enter URL or a keyword about the topic for which you want to have the keywords ideas. Let us start with keyword first. According to new feature added by the Google, you can also add up 10 more keywords in the one go for which you want keyword ideas. It is good feature as you need not to repeat the procedure again and again for each keyword. Let us get ideas on the words data analysis services. Press get started. Here is the list of suggested words for data analysis services. These words are closely matching with our seed keyword, that is data analysis services, and are actually being searched by the users in the Google search engine during the period of last one year. This list of keyword is very important as we can further narrow down it in the context of our website. Let us try to understand more features of Keyword Planner tool. There are few default filters of the planner and can be edited accordingly. The first is location. It is set to India. That means following suggested words are on the basis of searches conducted in India only. Similarly, we have language and search network that is set to Google. I will explain the second option as well, that is Google and search partner in a while. Now related to this keyword, this option is very important. It is a time frame for which results are being shown. By default, it is last 12 months. That means these are the suggested words based on what people have searched for in the last 12 months related to your seed keyword. You can change this window depending upon your needs. Notice that results also change with the change in the time frame. You can also drag these highlighted circles to fully customize the time frame up to any desired level. Now let us understand the result section. This is the long list of suggested keywords containing 575 keywords ideas. The first columns show our seed keyword and list of keyword ideas and you can see that the suggested keywords are quite similar to our seed keyword that is the data analysis services. The second column is about average monthly searches. This is an indication how popular a keyword is. It means that on an average in a given month how many times this keyword has been searched for. It is calculated on year basis. Suppose a keyword artificial intelligence courses has been searched for 30,000 times in a particular year. Then the average monthly searches will be 2,500. Google round off this value and show it to you in the average monthly searches. <clears throat> for example, this data analysis keyword has been searched for 1000 to 10,000 monthly in the last year. The time frame set by you. Similarly, you can see the popularity of other suggested keywords as well. Therefore, it's a good idea to include this keyword in our website because the average search for this word is very high. Same way, you can make a list of popular keywords. The next few columns like competition, ad impression, top of paid bid are relevant to the Google Ads. We will see the importance of these columns 
in the Google Ad modules. Now let us work with standard keyword planner filters. First, we have the location. That means following results are with reference to the selected location. It also gives the estimate of the people using internet in this location. If you want to add new location to it, simply enter the location like USA. Now, once I will save it, see results of suggested keyword list are changed. Now it suggests and shows results in both the countries taken together. This option is useful when you have your target customer from different locations and you want to shortlist the keywords for combination of locations. Let us come back to India. Similarly, you can change the language, but let it be English. Now this is the important one, search network. There are two options. The first one is Google and the second one is Google and search partners. Let me explain how are they different. If you select only Google, then the planner will suggest you the keyword ideas on the basis of searches taking place in Google search engine only. But this is not the only place where we search. We also search in Maps, YouTube, Google Images, etc. If you will select this option, Keyword Planner will include searches from these platforms in the suggested keyword list. There are few more filters. Set the broadly related ideas. There are parameters and you can filter the results. But they are more relevant to Google Ads. Now the another feature, for your convenience, you can download the list of keywords in Excel file and do some research on it like this. As I said in the beginning, because of new added features, you can get ideas for more than one word in one go. Let me add one more keyword and get results. Now following are the suggested keywords that people search in Google. You can also notice that the total suggested keywords have increased to 1360 ideas, which is obvious. You can also get keyword ideas on the basis of URL as well. This URL may be your website or your competitor's website. Simply type the URL and select whether you want the ideas on the basis of entire site, this page only, or as a keyword. Select the entire site and get results. And here is the list of suggested keywords. This option is very useful when you have already designed your website and want to do on-page SEO on the basis of keywords. So this was all about Google Keyword Planner tool. We discussed various features of this tool from the search engine optimization point of view. But there are many other features which are relevant for Google Ad. I will discuss those features in the respective modules in the days to come. Further, I advise you to use this tool and identify various keyword ideas for your website so that you can embed those keywords in your website.